All right, finally arrived. HGA order, eight cards in here. This was shipped out October 30th, 2021. Yes, it's been six months. I just got this back May 9th. I'll put a little snippet kind of right here of their tracker. I think they had it in their system November 4th. And yeah, the six months turnaround on HGA. I have one more order with them. And then after that, I am done. And when it comes to HGA, it's just presentation and customer satisfaction is lacking. So I think there's just pretty much the big two. I think they're good enough to be considered the big two. And I think HGA, we're just all gonna watch and see. But I mean, basically this is not even a package, you know, these are just cards, just kind of thin bubble wrap. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty much over it, but let's, we'll do this because I think I want to go in order how I had. And, and why they put this cheap crap on this, I have no clue. This is this just looks cheap. These giant baggies. Why why do you do that? What is what is the point? <laughs> There's graded cards like this goes back to presentation. Um you're a new company. You want to set the bar for yourself and many others, so lacking, like I said, very lacking. Alright, we have a Randy a Rosa Reina. This is a chrome. Uh, what did I say on this? Let's just straight get into it. I said dinged on edges, chipping, unknown on centering. Yeah, I don't know how to do 2020, but we have a 9.5. Interesting on the gray up there. This was, I guess, color neutral. Well, I know they're basically their labels have changed. This is the first time I've ever held an HGA slab in my hands they definitely feel I don't, I don't know they feel i mean they feel good which is surprisingly to say <laughs> but oh this is a true nine five nine five on everything i didn't even notice that true gem mint in in their eyes so not bad i felt like it was pretty solid of a card to send in i probably should have sent this well a lot of these cards I'll probably just sell. Most of these will probably just hit the eBay store. So if you are interested in any of these, I'm not going to be able to get all these on there on the on the camera. At least we'll get the card. I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is a Yaz. I was supposed to get this order back during Christmas time. That's why I sent this in instead of 186 days. <laughs> Literally double the turnaround time of 60 days, more than double. The 60 days came turned into 126 business days is what this order came into. Unbelievable, ridiculous. Like I said, one more order and that's a wrap. Another 9.5. I just got 10. This is the metallic. What is that blue? There's like a light baby blue. What is that even matching? I have questions. There is a custom label I'm excited to see at the end. A Patrick Mahomes. See, I'm a, I have a pretty good idea of how they're going to lay that out. But anyways, we're hitting two nine fives. This, like I said, this order was a test. And there was a test on this card, which I wanted to see how bad. This is bad. I, I sent this back in. Obviously, we didn't know really who all. HJ was still trying to find themselves. And I think they have now found themselves. <laughs> I think we've all found who, out who HGA is after their Tyler's left now. I mean, as soon as Tyler left, actually, this whole order just literally split. Went, like, within a matter of, like, two weeks. Just, like, boom. Out, off of receiving and just gone. Anyways... There was a nick on this card. You can see it right kind of, I had it right there in the middle of my thumb. 
You can see it to the to the right of the VJ3, right on the top edge there. There was that, and there might have been some other stuff. This is an old card. I mean, I didn't really take car, care of this. I had this back when I was collecting in my, my young early 90s days. So, uh, what is this? A 96 Derek Jeter. It's the VJ Lavero Showcase. Basically, it's a cool looking card for someone, maybe a Jeter fan. Um, what do we say on this? We did centering unknown, divots on back, which was there, corners and edges not great. They gave it a nine. I would have never expected that to be a nine. Interesting. Like I said, this whole, whole order was just a test. I've never really graded before and I was just kind of testing my eye and then seeing what I come up with and what they get back. It's a cool looking card though, if you are, I would think, if you are a Jeter fan. So, I'm not. eBay it goes. Went heavy on Brandon IU. Granted, we did not know Debo Samuel would have the year that he did. And I was buying Debo cards after the season started for like PSA 10s. I think I was grabbing for like $40. I think they're now like 130 or something like that going for. I was grabbing nines. I think I picked up like three deep, like 2019 prisms of his. Obviously, this is Debo who I'm talking about. I think I grabbed like three nines, PSA nines for like $12, $10 each. And his tens were going around 40 bucks. You could get them. And I, I got a couple of those. So yeah, I, I did pretty well on that investment. I still have those. Anyways, this, a lot of these Brandon Ayukes, I think what I say on this, where are we at? Are, I think they're kind of like off centered. This one I have centering look good left to right. Shallow on top with top to bottom okay so shallow it's a little shallow and then corners see edges corners may hinder grade so we have a nine they were not happy with the what is that it's like pink it's like orange and pink <laughs> how is that color matching again questions and, and I think that's the other thing with labels now. It, it's like they try to do so much with their labels. I think that's why everyone else is just going, you know, to these solid companies that just have a standardized. Obviously, if you want to keep some of these in your PC or if you want to show them off on your wall as like, you know, a pristine 10 or something, then I get it. But otherwise, it's just like, is that supposed to look good? I mean, are, this is match, matching. And I went with the neutral because I, I felt like the splash just, it's not as clean. I don't know. I like very simple design, but when it comes to color matching, I would also like that to happen too. <laughs> and I think they're dropping multiple balls on that. Okay, this is an Illusions 2020. Um, where are we at? Centering unknown, basically guess compared to others online. Edges, corners may hinder grade. Obviously, I'm looking off to my side to remember what I had on these cards. And we have a 9.5. Now that, I wish, was on that card. I have no clue. And yes, you're all probably, you can send it back in and they can read. No, I'm not sending this back in to get relabeled. Uh, it's not even worth the time, honestly. I don't think grading with HGA much the less anymore is worth the time <laughs> to, to many now that we've uh, all waited our six month allotment. Anyways, not a bad looking card there. Surface, they found something and docked me to the nine instead of the nine and a half, but I'm not going to argue with a robot, I suppose, if you want to call it that whether how much that robot does no one really knows and i don't think their youtube explanation could actually even have anyone decipher the words that they were actually trying to get across unless you had a dictionary next to you okay we are at another brandon iuk of course sorry a lot of iukes i think there's one more to go after this um 
This is another illusions. Again, centering unknown. Yeah, so I, I think I just switched the label. I wanted to see what each label was about. And this is a nine. And yeah, that that looks pretty ugly. So that was a, <laughs> a card match label. And I guess uh, maybe the right edge or something. I'm trying to figure out. They really docked edges there. But nonetheless, this card looks a whole lot better. And it hit a 9.5. And I'm not really quite sure how much that edge really hurt. But anyways, getting those illusions out of the way. All right, second to last card is actually a Prism. The Baron Ayuk. And I know this was off-centered. I remember this. I was like, I'm, I'm curious how bad their skin where their scale is with centering. Let's see, we have... Centering was heavier to the right. Corners have white tips, possible surface issues. I'm... I'm gonna guess that's based on how they're grading. This might get an 8.5. Got a 9. Okay. Centering, they gave it a 9.5. To me, I'm pretty sure you could see how that is off to the right. I think top and bottom probably helped, but this label design definitely looks a whole lot better for any Niners card compared to whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Still confused on that. Anyways, our last card is gonna be at Patrick Mahomes 2020 Rookies and Stars. Great. American Heroes. I'm collecting the rainbow for the George Kittle of this. I think I've been keeping my eye out for some Pat Tillman as well. So the play, I think a bit uh, something ends tomorrow in auction for one of his reds that I'll be trying to, to snatch. We'll see how that goes. But this final card we have centering unknown possible surface imperfections print line on back edges corners unknown i think all these cards that i've been looking at there's definitely some print lines i'm trying to figure out and find where that print line is now and i don't see it of course and i know it's on the back oh there it is it's on the top I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the light on it. Basically, where'd it go? It's not too much of a concern. It's almost at the top of this flag, and then like runs across. I'm not quite sure if you're gonna be able to see it in the case with the camera and not being naked eye. Nonetheless, let's see what we got. This is the custom label, the only custom label, so this should be pretty fancy. Probably not though, we'll see how it goes. I'm very interested on this card. Out of pretty much all of them, I would think this would be the one I'm most curious about. Okay, here we go. A nine. That is unfortunate, but I'm not going to complain. You know, there's edges there they weren't happy with. I guess I probably could have descraped the fluff on some of the edges. But anyways, it looks pretty sweet. Might have been a little too much more blue in that label than I would have hoped for. And I'm not really making out a flag. Obviously, there's a couple stripes or four if you want to include the white up there. But and then some funny stars. It's not horrible. It's not the best. But nonetheless, hopefully someone on eBay will appreciate this <laughs> this card it is just the base prism so there's no color or anything I don't know if any of these cards are actually going to be valued more than what it costs to grade them but nonetheless that was the submission there is another submission I think of five that they still have in mind who knows hopefully by fall I get those back and those were sent out in January, so of this year. And that was it. I sent one order to SGC 
NHG at the same time, SGC, I think, I think I actually still got that within, back within the month of January. As far as our turnaround times of this year have been very on point. So yeah, I've been rounding up a whole bunch of cards to send off to SGC and PSA. So that'll happen sometime. Um, I guess we can center point that, even though it's not a big grade, and get the the nine. I don't know. We'll throw you over there. <laughs> we'll do something like that. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this kind of blind reveal for me and uh, my first experience with HGA. And I, I don't know how you could really turn this into a positive after the wait and basically their their service time um i can only imagine what the people with psa are thinking after experiencing this but you would think with a new company um they might have their you know what together a little bit but unfortunately not so again thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for upcoming videos i'll get something out this upcoming week most likely and that'll be it all right take care